Hello, welcome back. This is part two of chapter E. And in this part, what we're going to look at is accuracy and precision. And so when we t take these measurements, we have to have a way of telling how good they were. And so that's what we use accuracy and precision for. And then we're also going to take that a little further and do the number of significant figures in a number and that's how we know how accurate or precise we can be. So accuracy and precision sometimes people get them a little confused. Precision is how close your measurements are to each other and accuracy is how close you are to the right answer. So you can be very precise, um, as in the case of this little dartboard right here, you can be very precise and get all of your answers very close to each other, but <laughs> they missed the bullseye by quite a bit, and so they were not very accurate. And the, you can have good accuracy and good precision if you have them all three together and they are close to the right answer and then you can have poor accuracy and precision um, and have them all over the place which looks a little more like what I do when I throw darts um, but you can be precise and not accurate so that's something you need to remember because just because you had three answers that were very similar to the same thing that means that you could have made the same mistake every time so when we take measurements there is this level of uncertainty that is you know we're we're trying to get as close as we can but sometimes things go wrong like your instrument is not calibrated correctly or you didn't look at it quite right um, and so that brings in a level of uncertainty to your measurement and so what we do is we use something called significant figures and significant figures allow us to um, show the amount of precision that the measured value is um, so for example I can only be as precise as my least precise measurement okay now one thing to remember is we have something called um, equalities and so those are the things that allow us to go from one to another so we know that there are 2.54 centimeters in one inch when we use those we consider those to have unlimited um, significant figures okay and when you would count something that's got an unlimited amount of significant figures it's when we measure something that it's going to have um, a finite number of significant figures and so there are some rules that go with this don't get all um, caught up on these um, we we look at these very carefully at first but after a while they're going to be kind of second nature so one thing to remember is if, if it's then if it's not a zero it's going to be significant okay so in the case of 536 all of those are non-zero numbers so this means that this answer right here has three significant figures in it if you have a zero between numbers that aren't zeros those are significant so in the case of 6703 because that zero is between some non-zero numbers in this case the number would have four significant figures now some zeros are not significant zeros that are placeholders these point zero zero four three that has two significant figures and that's because those zero zeros are only there to show you that it's a small number it's not 43 it's point zero zero forty three but those zeros are placeholders we call them they are not significant okay the same thing goes if you have a number at the end and you don't have a decimal place okay if you don't have a decimal place then those num those zeros are not significant so in the case of 7000 it has one significant figure because those zeros 
are not significant. They're just telling me that it's 7,000 instead of 700. 32040 has four significant figures because this zero is between two non-zero numbers, but this one is just a placeholder. It just tells me the magnitude of the numbers. Now what happens is that changes if I put a decimal point in there. For example, 50 would have one significant figure, but if I put 50.0, by putting that decimal there, I'm telling you that's exactly 50.0, so there are three significant figures in that number. And this number, now this number, these are to the right of the decimal place. When they're to the right of the decimal place, if they're not a placeholder, then they're going to be significant. And so in the case of 0 0.0600, this one is not significant, but those two are. And it's because they're to the right of the decimal place. Okay, so this one would have three significant figures. So the best way to do these is to practice them. And so um, I, have, I have several here for you to look at. Um, 50,003, that would have five, okay? Because the, all of these zeros are between two numbers that are not zeros. 400 has what? One significant figure. Okay, because the other zeros are placeholders. Now let me show you something. So 400 has one significant figure. If I do this, 400, and put a decimal there, that now has three significant figures. By putting the decimal there, I'm anchoring that and telling you it's exactly 400. All right, let's look at point 0.04450. It has four significant figures. This one is not, it's a placeholder. But the other one is to the right of the decimal, so it is significant. 100 centimeters equals one meter, infinite number, okay? It has an infinite number or unlimited number of significant figures. Um, 1.000 times 10 to the third has four significant figures. You only look at the number part. This right here, just like when you had zeros at the end for four, that only tells you the magnitude of the number, how big it is, okay? And the same with the 3.050, that has four significant figures. And it's times 10 to the minus one, but that times 10 to the minus one has nothing to do with um, whether something is significant or not, okay? So now you've seen some. So when we look at these, I'm going to go through the example ones to do how many significant figures there are, and then you have some to practice on. So point zero four four five zero. Oh. It has four. 5.0003. Has five. Ten decimeters equals one meter. It has unlimited or an infinite number. 1.000 times 10 to the fifth has four because it has a decimal. 0 0.00002 has one because all of those zeros before that are just holding the place. And 10,000 with no decimal place has how many? One, exactly, because these are just placeholders. So leading zeros and trailing zeros, if there's not a decimal, right to the right of, of these um, that are trailing, they're not going to be significant. 
and if they're just pleading into the number or holding the place they're not going to be significant so you have some to practice you've all you'll also have some in homework to practice and kind of get the feel of this okay and that is significant figures